Let me start with the basic bread pudding. And you know, it's a simple comfort food, but well made, absolutely delicious. So before I get into the bread pudding, I actually want to get my raisins ready. I love bread pudding with raisins, but I like to plump them up. So I'll pour some hot water over half a cup of raisins. And I'll get my dish set. So I'll just brush the dish with a little bit of melted butter, just so it doesn't stick. Now, I've melted about four tablespoons. So about a tablespoon goes into the dish, and the remaining three tablespoons, I pour over four cups of diced day-old bread. Depending on the style of bread you use, you may or may not want to cut the crusts off. If it's a really crusty baguette, it could end up being a tough bread pudding, so it might be a good idea to trim the crusts. A bread pudding is essentially made of two parts, the bread base and then the custard. So the starting point for the custard, two eggs and one egg yolk. I'll add half a cup of sugar. Whisk this together. I'll add one and a half cups of milk and one cup of whipping cream. The whole point of a basic bread pudding is to keep the flavor simple. So I add just a teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And lastly, just a pinch of salt. Part of the convenience of a basic bread pudding is that you tend to have the ingredients on hand. There we go, I'll pour this over the bread cubes. And what I like to do is set it aside for about 15 minutes. If you happen to walk by it and think of stirring it, well, then you go ahead and do that. And this is what it looks like after 15 minutes. So I'll take a slotted spoon or a potato masher and actually break down the bread a little bit. Now my raisins have had time to plump up, so I'll just add them. You can leave your bread pudding plain. You could use nuts, you could use diced apple. It's really up to you. And now the mixture is ready for the baking dish. The finishing touch, a little bit of cinnamon sugar sprinkled on top. In addition to the nice smell as the bread pudding bakes, you get a nice crunch on top from the sugar layer. This bakes for about an hour in a 350 oven, and it'll souffle up, and you'll know it's done when it turns a beautiful golden brown. And here's this beautiful bread pudding out of the oven, and you want to let it cool for about 15 minutes before you dig in. But it looks so nice, brought right to the table. It's just so delicate and light. And to think, it all starts with day-old bread.